<laughs> Good timing, oh yes! Great timing! <laughs> you lucky devil! This is worth 18 submarines! <laughs> Come on, Mama, let the good times roll! Yeah, well, the fact that they're all having to like, well, we gotta come up with loopholes to get around this stuff because otherwise we're just too fucking pent up. What we're was gonna the go news saying like last year that the, they were fucking having ear sex or something? Or no, it was soaking. That was that's what that's it, was. it. Yeah, they would what put it this? in and then they would just stand uh, still. That's because they're not move. they're not in not, the action, right? No, just isn't like, that also like it's like no, yeah. they wouldn't move, but then they would also have a friend yeah. like jump, up and, jump I told on you guys the bed. Oh, yeah. okay, that's one yeah. yeah. from a Dutch rider. Yeah, like they would get a friend, a mutual friend who over the covers jumps on the bed for you while you're soaking. So that way. It's the bed know. moving, you guys, not oh, you fine, doing the motion. You're a single muscle, you're going to hell. Yep, exactly. <laughs> you tell me that, uh, that your friend lowered her down on you to also. Is it on right now? How'd you guys get in the. <laughs> so ridiculous. I, I was. Uh, well, I was listening to Ari, Shaf Ari Shafir's like last special. It's all about Judaism, and like he goes in depth because he was training to become a rabbi, like when he was growing up, mm -hmm. and he gave up on that. And then for his new special, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go back and talk to all my rabbi friends and just really dig into this. And his whole spe like comedy special is just oh here's the ridiculousness. And they've got a similar thing of if you can't have sex with a woman while she's on her period. They had to make a rule because they weren't just going to like not do that anyway. Well, no, no, no. The, the weird thing is, is it's like, okay, well, what if you start when she's not on her period and she starts her period no, while no. you're going? And the answer is defined in the Torah, apparently. Oh, God. And it's not, oh, pull out. Because pulling out is also a pleasurable action. you got to stop. And you gotta just wait <laughs> till the, to recede. To, 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 to recede. <laughs> and then once it's receded, you can finally send her off in the fucking woods where she belongs. So she can go get two turtles as an apology. <laughs> They're having a period. <laughs> they, they thought about this. They also have weird rules of like, you can't, you can't eat ham. Because, of course not. Right. But there are provisions for, like, say you're making soup. And some non-Jewish person runs over and throws some pork in your fucking soup. What a dick. This is the exact example they give. Oh, this is this is where their stinginess trumps their uh, not eating pork. Right now. And, <laughs> I'm not going to throw this soup out. And, <laughs> and so it's like, the, the question is, how much soup to pork ratio is there? <laughs> Because there's a percentage that's a okay. It's not just fifty. Is there as a, long as a goyle was the one that threw the fucking pork in that soup, and you're like, it's like forty percent or whatever. Some drive by souping. Yeah, some drive by porking. It <laughs> apparently means you can eat it, and you don't even have to pick. Where it. I come from, drive by porking has a different meaning. And you, and you don't even have to pick out the pick out the chunks of pork if you come across it. You're like, oh well, you know, the, the whole soup as a whole was twenty percent pork, so I'm allowed to just mm, eat that up. Because, you know, it was it was that Goyle that got us. That reminds me of the Catholic Church capybara yeah. thing. Oh, God, what do the Catholic Churches do to capybaras? Well, apparently when they were, like, colonizing South America, uh, they were all Catholics. And I think from what I remember, they were there, and they had that rule of only eating fish. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't a lot of fish, but there was a lot of capybaras running around. And they wrote back to the Pope, was like, hey, we don't have a lot of fish here, and we're kind of running out of food, but these capybaras, they spend a lot of time in the water. So. Can you, <laughs> can you say they're fish? And the Pope was like, yeah, they're fish, fuck it. And so they're kosher or whatever the Catholic version of that is. So. Even though, great, yeah, they spend a lot of time in the water. They don't fucking breathe the water. What's that Pope good, said it's okay. What's that good Friday fasting shit where they think, like they're not allowed meat, but fish is okay. That's what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. So we, they can still technically now eat capybara. Yep. Probably. Hmm. Unless he rescinded the previous pope's order. <laughs> See, at work we serve fish on Fridays just in case we have a Catholic person that's already on the menu. Like, <laughs> but capybara has never once come up. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, the... it's not exactly an abundant animal here, so. I mean, I I love those. I love the new ones that keep coming out. 
like in more modern, like the what was it two popes ago? One pope was like, okay, guys, we're allowed to you're allowed to use condoms, but only to prevent the spread of AIDS. Oh, but not yeah, but not for not, to stop birth. Not right. to stop birth. So it led to a bunch of Catholic so kids. What, then it, so it's only useful in what situation? You can't go get tested. You can't go get tested for eight for STDs. Because if you go get tested and you know you're clean, you can't use that condom. Or if both people get tested. But if one person got tested, like, well, I'm clean. I don't know about you. What about you? They're like, I don't know. I've been on some pretty dirty toilet seats lately. So <laughs> we can to we need to use a condom. I might have AIDS. Hmm. Yeah, the popes have been tiptoeing. If, if we're measuring time by popes here. Because, like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because, <laughs> uh, like, what, the big recent news is that the the, the the celibacy is coming to an end. They say priests and such can, like, go get laid if they want. I mean, they're still doing it. I think the big thing is she's trying to say child molestation's worse than gay people, and they're all like, boo! <laughs> 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 they'd rather diddle kids than watch two dudes kiss. Well, yeah, because they're a bunch of fucking pedophiles in power. What do you expect? so fucking twisted Not well like... if you're gay with an adult you condemn that adult to hell if you're gay with a child God will surely forgive them <laughs> they got time child probably hasn't been baptized yet or at least they can get rebaptized. baptized so again, really so could he's the saving adult. somebody's soul I think I lied to my grandmother about being baptized because she, she kept again. saying she wanted me to get baptized so I eventually just one day said like she asked me about baptized I'm like yeah I got dunked in the water. Yeah, yeah, Grandma, you were there. Don't you remember? What? No, she wasn't, she wasn't there. I just lied. So, yeah, I got dunked in the water. I know. You just tell her that she was. And she's like, I've, she doesn't I've have forgotten bad, so many She never had things. bad memory. But she is blind, and she didn't go to church often because, obviously, she couldn't drive. So, I take her occasionally. But she had very good memory and was very, like, sane for the most part in terms of, like, she was still a child and annoying as hell sometimes. But she, she knew things. <laughs> my grandma d definitely did and she was definitely out of her fucking mind for the longest time definitely and uh they all came from southern baptist so absolutely i had to it's like oh are you baptized yes grandma i absolutely got baptized can we please drop the subject and get this <laughs> visit over with <laughs> my favorite thing other my ex he was black she was blind by this time so she didn't know what he looked like <laughs> until he like Eventually, she figured it out, and she's like, I don't mind that he's black. I'm like, okay, Grandma, I don't care. It's a but weird thing going out. I know, okay. right? <laughs> she's so goddamn old. <laughs> um, my, my my grandfather once hit us really hard with, like, my, my cousin was dated, basically exclusively dated black guys after a while. Mm. And finally, she there was a Thanksgiving where she happened to be dating somebody when Thanksgiving time came. And it was a new guy. Like, he'd been around for a couple of months, I think. I think you might have told me this story. Before. I probably have told you it before. And my grandfather hit us with some real contradictory stuff. Because we're all sitting around waiting because she said she was going to come. And my grandmother shows up early in the room before she gets there and is like, like lecturing my grandfather about like, now you don't say a word when she comes here. I've been trying to get... Mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and we're all like... What's all that about? And he and then she she ended up ba like not coming, I think. And brought with the better action. Oh no, my grandfather was real. Oh no, she came. Her boyfriend didn't. No. And my grandfather was not happy about that, because he's like that. I've met that boy before. He's come over. He's helped me with this and that. He's a good kid. He deserves to be like here with hang out with the family and this and that. Mm -hmm. and we're all like, all right. I get it. You're a little annoyed that he didn't show up, and like, okay, you like him, this and that, you know, you met him a couple of times. And he's like, now back in my, and like, I'm not racial, but back in my day, you know, I was always, tr I was always told that, like, you know, people well, are like, you know, somebody says, no, I'm not racist, right before they say something, I'm not incredibly blank, but... racist. <laughs> but it was just he, he compared a relationship to a car engine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where he said, well, you know, you got your gasoline and your oil, but you don't go mixing them. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> oh, wow. But at the same time, he's really mad that this guy, like... So were the he, white people the gas or the oil? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't inquire. Um. I just remember everybody else in the room kind of like looking at each other like, all right, all right, well, this is where we're going today. And then like, he's just, but 
he wasn't saying that to be like, she shouldn't be with him. He just made that statement and then went straight back to, why the hell isn't he here? Why didn't he come here and hang out with the family? He's Maybe part of the family. Maybe his car broke down. <laughs> no, he just felt awkward because he always was... This guy was crazy. He's so old when you're racist, we just let it slide. <laughs> like, this guy le- legit all the time was, like, not going to things and being like, well, I don't want to go, babe, because people are judging us for being a biracial couple. He moved out of town and got a house, like, I that forget where excessive. else. Yeah, he moved out to another town because he felt too many people were judging them for being a biracial couple here. I mean, when my neighbor greets me with a shotgun every day, like, hey, neighbor, how's it going? <laughs> They're like, yeah, I think I'm going to move. Yeah. No, I'm, I don't actually. Um, same uh, ex, his family, having dinner or whatever, his grandpa's there. Out of nowhere, like, we're just having conversation, normal conversation. Out of nowhere, he goes, have you guys heard about that disease going around called the gay? The gay? <laughs> the gay. <laughs> the gay. <laughs> He's not wrong. It's, it's quite the epidemic we're currently in. It just and got very just... loud and incoherent after that because he just kind of bombed that entire table with it. We had to shut down the whole world for like a year to try to get rid of it, and it just kept growing. <laughs> <laughs> Some people out there really believe they get AIDS and chlamydia on a toilet suit. No, they don't. Huh? Uh, unless someone else is already sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Annie who's it? So the last time that we left off... You guys were hanging out in the club, mm-hmm. drinking, Twerking. dancing, partying it up. Uh, I believe Mario had just showed up with his girlfriend. I believe that's where we had left off, yes. Uh, and they went up to the second floor to their private booth. Right. And you guys were trying to figure out how you're going to go about... Going up there, getting up there, talking to him, something mm-hmm. around those lines. Oh, yeah, I got a private booth. I should probably go take that. Oh, you do? I'm pretty sure. I think we discussed that he's well known enough to have a booth. I don't remember. I'm going to go talk to the person <laughs> at, this, at the stairs or whoever, or the bar. I don't know. Be like, I'm going to go up to my booth. <laughs> These, these three, they're my best friends. They're invited. Okay, Mr. Lemon. Um, we can arrange a booth <laughs> for that. Um, we, we have some availabilities tonight, I suppose. Thanks, good man. The, he has to go and contact the person up at the front desk to see what their availabilities are. But yeah, he'll, he'll get you a booth up there, I guess. Awesome. Just <laughs> where I come from, a lemon is a bad thing. <laughs> Wait, like, in in this like world, as, yeah, like as a nomad, <laughs> <laughs> or pretty much anybody. I mean, I think lemon is often used as a term for like a car that. For a what? For like a car that like just don't work or it's broken or like broken you know down. it's about to break down or it's only breaking down. Then this name that is even, even sold me a lemon. I was like, then that. this name is perfect for him for this car that is about to break down <laughs> as he drinks ma- smash. <laughs> lemons are fun. We spend a lot of time fixing them. When That's life how we gives the you lemons, lemon gives you life. <laughs> Lemon makes makes lemonade. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need some aid with this lemon. <laughs> he said. wants to give me his AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. You're allowed to use a condom to prevent that. Is this, this not is the not future with an AIDS really be gone high. pill? I mean, there's still diseases. I mean, yeah, you both are just chugging down the smash, so yeah, that makes sense. I feel like chugging is. <laughs> well, I definitely don't see Nux, you know, gingerly sipping a cup of it. It comes with a curly straw. <laughs> so we're sitting in the booth. Uh, yeah. They... Get us a booth? Yeah, so they, they get you guys a booth upstairs. Uh, as... Finn, stop. Thank you. 
Let me get you guys a booth set up. Uh, it's a, it's across the walkway from Mario's. So so like there, it's the uh, the dance floor is like open between us, and there and we're basically on two separate sides of it. Or so the the second floor doesn't have a dance floor. Right. It's just open where the and then you can look yeah. That's down. what I meant. Like basically, yeah. like the dance floor is below and open beneath us, and we're on the opposite sides. Like a rail sides. or is our glass? What are we talking about? Uh, for this floor, it's just rail. Okay. Um, so it's just a literally empty hole. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, and the the sound is actually quite dampened up here. Like you could still hear what the song is, but it's not like blaring, even though the speakers are like right underneath you. Okay. Um. And then yeah, you can see across the way and like, not directly across, but he's on the other side. Mm-hmm. On that area. <clears throat> Does anyone have a scope or binoculars? Um. Uh, and as soon as you guys sit down, there is a waitress asking if she can get you guys anything. More smash, please. <laughs> of course, you're going to take the highly addictive stuff. Uh, I have an ox. You do? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Because I me definitely see this. don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Lemon's t- going to take those binoculars and just kind of start obviously staring at Mario <laughs> and his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> <through the binoculars. Wow. laughs> very focused on whatever she's wearing. <clears throat> He's just making really weird mm, noise <laughs> as he drinks. <laughs> How far away are they? <laughs> probably <laughs> probably not far feet. enough to notice that <laughs> stupid shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> like binoculars. Uh, I mean. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, is <coughs> anybody else ordering anything? Uh, yeah. Is there some uh, is there some chela? Some chela? Some tequila special? What do you got? Can we have blue and onion? Pull out your Spanish <laughs> lingo. No, I'm pl- no, it's a list of like liquors from the universe. The universe. Uh, some brosa, some dragon piss. Take a blue and onion. Some dragon piss. <laughs> <laughs> do I even have a I was about to say it's gonna like sh- so she. Well, we'll see. Uh... Yeah, Dusty, you can get alcohol. We don't play. We don't play. We don't play.